There have been times in our lives where we have all been sick, and the first thing we grab is the Tylenol and ibuprofen from the medicine cabinet. Nowadays, it is out of habit, and we don't think much about it until the medication we are taking are not doing their job, and we are back to square one. Or that we have been prescribed many medications, and none of them seem to be working. You get to the point where you are desperate and willing to try anything, legal that is, and you do. God has provided us with essential oils, and have, they have been used since Roman times, and we all have that one friend who swears by them. Essential oils not only help with pain, but they can also boost immunity, fight infections, balance hormones. It is all natural and reduces anxiety, but it is also not a replacement for medications needed that can, that are that can help, but essential oils can help in many other ways. I have been learning about essential oils for the past year and a half. Um, to the point that I use them not only on myself, but on my family, my husband, and my children. If you have gotten to the point where medication is not working for you, and you're desperate trying to find any other ways to help with relief, um, that is mental, physical, um, then essential oils is your answer. Um, I want to discuss the benefits of using essential oils for emotional, mental, and physical health. Um, the use of fragrant plants for healing is not new and has been used for thousands of years in ancient China, India, and Egypt. Essential oils were accidentally discovered in the early 20th century by a French chemist named René Gattefousset. Gatte Fouze discovered the healing properties when he accidentally burned his hand in his laboratory and found that when he added lavender oil to his burns, they healed a lot more quickly than they would have um, with just bandages. This discovery intrigued him, so he experimented with other plant oils while treating soldiers during World War I. What he discovered it was that these plant-based oils were able to speed up the physical healing but also help with the mental side for these soldiers as well. As the world discovered essential oils and their benefits, it was soon discovered that aromatherapy affected the lim limbic system through the sense of smell. As we all know, there are five senses, touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. Through smell, we all have a memory associated with certain ones. Pleasant smells can stimulate emotional responses of pleasure and relaxation. Because of this discovery, essential oils have been used for depression, anxiety, insomnia, panic disorder, menstrual cramps, stomach pains, and there have also been studies showing that it, they have also helped calm um, the systems of dementia in elderly people. For the past year, I have been looking into essential oils. I have researched and looked into many companies that make them as well. And in the end, in December of 2017, I took the plunge and signed up with doTERRA. Today I can say that I am thankful that I did because not long after I got severe morning sickness from my pregnancy, my family got the flu and cold, stomach aches, tooth aches, and ear infections all within two months. Me being pregnant, there was only so many medications that I could take personally. And since I was already on three antibiotics before, my doctors were not willing to give me any more. So what I had to do to help with it, my ear and my sinus infection, I had to rely on essential oils. Um, and what I noticed is that it quickly worked. It took a few days, not as fast as regular medications did, but I had relief. I was able to not moan in pain or complain because Tylenol wasn't helping me and my body was already used to Tylenol so there was only so much that I could do. Um, being pregnant, I kept looking for other ways that essential oils could be used. I ended up researching more and on Pinterest to find other ways that would help calm my children's aches and pains. Like everyone else, I've been given all kinds of medications for help with headaches, 
body aches, cold, flu, and head toothaches. I've never had a reaction to them before, and mostly smooth sailing, until I was given a narcotic after a tooth extraction. I took the recommended amount, and not long after, I got really sick with stomach pains, nausea, and extreme desire to throw up. It was concluded that I had a reaction to said medication, and then advised not to take it again. I didn't take the wrong dosage. I actually took the minimal. And I'm not implying that all medication will do that to everyone, but for me, that was the last straw. I'm thankful that we have modern medic medicine to help us, and essential oils are not to replace those medications that are desperately needed by those who find relief and um, cures for their ailments. For me, essential oils was the end of the line. And I am so thankful that I was able to find them. I'm thankful for the studies that have been given into them to show that the um, the smell of lavender could help calm somebody. And peppermint on your stomach could help ease the achiness in your bellies. I'm thankful that, that, this, that God has provided us another way to help us that is natural. I am... I hope that if you all get to the point where you want to try something else, look into this route. Essential oils is definitely not for everybody, but I swear and I promise it is one route that you won't be sorry about. Um, again, thank you for listening. Bye.